The order has three pillars, contemplation, Eucharistic adoration, and works of mercy and compassion. Contemplation is like our staying in the river of prayer throughout the day. When I am fulfilling a duty, whether it's um, cleaning in the kitchen or around the monastery, I have learned in adoration to listen to his still, soft voice so that even while I'm performing duties, I am with him. So we're living within Christ, who is within us within that present moment. Whatever that moment is within the daily schedule which we're blessed to have. Contemplation is a very mystical part of our charism because it's the grace of being able to live every moment in Christ's presence. that we stay always united to Him, that not a moment, um, whether sleeping or awake, passes in which we are not uh, giving ourselves completely to God and telling Him by our actions, by our words, by our thoughts that we love Him. It's constantly bringing our love to Him and then receiving His love for us and then giving it to others. Um, you are just saying fiat to God at every moment. The perfect model for contemplation is the Immaculate Heart of Mary because that's just what she did always. She was always thinking about Jesus no matter what she was doing, whether she was in silence, whether she was cooking, um, whether she was suffering. It was always all for Jesus and in Him and through Him. Contemplation is transformative because it's union with God and every day it's hope that you'll grow in that union and every day lose yourself a little bit more and find Him. I allow myself to be embraced by God and I let, let my, my breaths and my heartbeats convey my love to Him. It's becoming a living prayer. All of our prayers are before our Lord in the Blessed Sacrament, um, His Sacred Heart exposed. We get to bow before Him and let Him know that yes, He is loved. Adoration is our prayer before our Eucharistic Lord, where He fills us with um, all the graces we need, all the strength we need uh, to live His will completely. We hope one day to have perpetual adoration so that 24 hours a day our Lord will be accompanied by lovers and consolers of His heart. We get to give Him that love that He doesn't receive from so many souls. give what you don't have and so um, during adoration um, our Lord fills us up almost like um, our heart is a chalice and his love and mercy goes into our hearts to, to the point of overflowing and, and but we need it full to overflowing so that it can overflow upon um, those who need it in the world. Just wait upon him and wait and uh, trust in him. And we cannot help but be changed by uh, his.
His love and mercy in the Eucharist. Works of mercy really don't take away from our contemplative charism because it's just finding Jesus in the people that we meet. Because as we fill up with His love and mercy in front of the Eucharist, then we can go out um, in corporal works of mercy and pour that love and mercy out um, upon others. It gives us a chance to just let our, let our hands be Christ's hands, our voice His voice, our ears his ears weaken. When we go out to do works of mercy, we are seeking our beloved. Um, is he distressed? Is he going through his agony? Then we seek to just listen to him, let him pour out his heart. Um, when we go to the nursing homes, there's a lot of lonely people that just want to share their stories or share their struggles. It doesn't matter what they might be complaining about or what memories might be bothering, their, bothering them. We're there to listen to our beloved pouring out his heart. It's just going to them and letting Christ step into us and letting him put his hands into our hands like a glove. Is he a little child that wants to be comforted or sang to or played with? Well, then we're there to, to love him and that child that um, we minister to. It is his love that will be the light in their darkness, that will utterly break down the walls that they've thrown up and that will just bring them to him in a new way. We become his instruments, nothing but his instruments, but. Works of mercy is our opportunity to um, show love as we have been loved. Not looking for anything back, we go to the, the people who really can't pay us back is more of what we're looking for. We want to uh, bring living waters um, to the hearts of those that are thirsting in our world today. We want to be um, a see-through glass, so much so that the the water that's within us is all that the people see. And they are quenched in their thirst. For, for love which is so lacking in our world today, which is um, so needed and uh, which makes America more poor than the poorest of the poor countries.